Actually, I don't even know how I get to the point here. I didn't achieve anything special and I'm just living simple from now. Not craving for extreme happiness or experience sadness, but embracing all the moments I've been through. Yeah, I do still making art, but lesser than last year. I just create random things in my meantime. My sense of making art to survive has gone temporarily and I'm still test driving to work it out in many different ways. There is not a certain statement to prove that you need to be succeed in your life. I don't even have the guts to take this into my life. I will always look back to my work and contents that I've created. I might be suffer back then but I'm still grinding for something impossible. But life is unpredictable. You will never know what happened next and our desire will never end. Even though it is unnecessary for others but this has already shaped my routine and emotions in my daily basis. It has become something that stimulates me to keep going. Create out of nothing because we know nothing from this complicated world. I didn't understand people who liked to drink coffee back then, especially adults, thinking that was a consumer trap and only drink for the brand. As I mentioned just now, we can predict and define something instantly because Damn, I'm in the coffee industry right now, mainly work in the serving position. Alright, from the start, I knew nothing about coffee. They basically just taste like medicine or bitter soup or just made up from water, just a bit of water, I might just drink water instead. This thought kept in my mind until I found my first ever first job. And then I found that coffee is way more complicated than I thought. And I think I can work more to discover about the mystery of why is it so appealing to people. At my workplace, I found out not only bitter in coffee, it, it gives people complex flavor, something kicks into taste bud and brain. Then I know how to differentiate specialty coffee and commercial coffee, and tons of method of making this liquid. I don't know, I found it interesting. And I'd be like, instead of making silly art at home and not making any income, I should give it a try in this industry. After I've known I want to learn more about this field, I switch from jobs and jobs but not only brewing. We need to play different roles, forced to work on something I wouldn't want to. Somebody can work under pressure, some can learn from observing how others work. But for me, I try to imply what others told me to do. For example, how to take orders or explain our product to a customer. I just do what I told to until I shape my character to work on something I'm not good at but actually I can work on. I don't find that fascinating because I don't want to work hard fundamentally. I just think that interesting and do it as flexible as I can. As long as I told myself something I want is behind this distraction. So I need to break through to achieve. What you want to be good at just as you grinding for the process until you get it but don't really need to put much emotion or take it to personally. It's the process of learning and be what you want to be. Try to shift your perspective from different aspects time to time. Think from the start, why are you working hard on it? And not blaming your past self of not working certain things out. It's not always late to decide or change. I might call this trick, fake it until you make it. You may take control your values out of someone applied to you, overcome who you are. <laughs>